Protocol independent multicast is going to be important for us to be able to create a functional layer three multicast domain. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna come into each of my devices and say show IP interface brief, and it's gonna give me a listing of all of the interfaces that I'm going to want to enable PIM on. So I'll start with loopback zero and I'll say IP PIM sparse mode. I'll say interface loopback 100, IP PIM sparse mode and interface Ethernet 1122 IP PIM sparse mode. Let's go ahead and move over to LEAF 102, show IP interface brief, interface loopback zero, IP PIM sparse mode, loopback 100, IP PIM sparse mode, interface E112, IP PIM sparse mode. Go ahead and do our spines, show IP interface brief, interface loopback zero, IP PIM sparse mode, loopback, no loopback, interface E1122, IP PIM sparse mode, and then lastly over here we'll do the same thing, show IP interface brief, config interface loopback zero, IP PIM sparse mode, and interface E1122, IP PIM sparse mode. All right, so let's verify and see if this actually works. So I'll say show IP PIM interface brief, and I should see three interfaces here. Show IP interface brief, or IP PIM interface brief three interfaces. On these guys, I would expect to see four interfaces. Show IP PIM interface brief, one, two, three, four. And lastly, on LEAF 102, show IP PIM interface brief, four interfaces. Now the big important question is, is do I have adjacency? So if I go to my spine and I say show IP PIM neighbors, and hit enter, I should have two neighbors. I have appearing to leaf 101 and appearing to leaf 102. Do the same thing from four, show IP, PIM neighbors, and we see I have appearing with one um, leaf 101 and leaf 102. So from this, we can assume that what we've done is we've created a functional environment and that functional environment is going to support our multicast configurations but what's missing the rendezvous point now i could just statically assign a rendezvous point but where's the fun in that what i want to do is i want to entertain some of the more interesting concepts now when we were talking about multicast routing we talked about bootstrap router we talked about auto rp we alluded to phantom rp and we said that we would talk to about it in the context of vx lands i also talked about anycast rp with and without msdp uh, the multicast source discovery protocol so all of those things are relevant but right now it's time for the rubber to hit the road and what we want to do is i want to be able to implement a mechanism that's going to allow me to be able to leverage both of my spines in order to be able to satisfy the requirements for producing leveraging and enforcing rendezvous point configuration inside of our layer 3 multicast environment and we'll actually talk about that in depth in the next white, white whiteboard. And then what we'll do is we'll go ahead and do that implementation. And then from there, all we really do have to do is make the NVEs live and generate some traffic. And if everything goes well, this infrastructure should actually allow me to be able to ping from one site to another site in this lab, reflecting the fact that one site is in Virginia, one site is in Maryland, but we're connected via this layer three, multicast, unicast enabled, transport environment. I'm Terry Benson and I'll see you guys in that video.